The story goes back to the late 18th century when this property was first established as a family farm. Close to the main stagecoach route between Boston and Albany, the road now known as Route 20. This was a winding dirt road that had multiple switchbacks in order to climb the steep Berkshire Hills. The zigzag roadway resembled a ladder from a distance, and early settlers were reminded of the Bible story in Genesis where Jacob dreams of a ladder to heaven. And so the road came to be known as Jacob's Ladder, and the Carter family thought that this pillow-shaped boulder next to their farmhouse must therefore be Jacob's pillow. When pillow founder Ted Sean first came here in 1930, he found a piece of letterhead in the house that read, Jacob's Pillow, a mountain farm, and he adopted the name right away. The Pillow Rock has been a focal point since the very beginning, with one of our earliest images showing a picnic with Ted Sean and his men dancers in 1935, right after they got back from a successful tour to London. Many other important moments have been commemorated at the Pillow Rock, including the U.S. debuts of the Royal Danish Ballet in 1955, Indrani in 1960, and the Royal Winnipeg Ballet in 1964. Each company that appears at the Pillow to this day gets its picture taken on the rock. Another reason this is a particularly meaningful spot is that Ted Sean's ashes were buried here after his death in 1972. So the famous photo of him reclining on the rock is an especially poignant one in that this is, in fact, his final resting place. When Sean's lead dancer Barton Mumaw died in 2001, he asked that his ashes also be buried here, and the famous weather vane image of Mumaw was engraved into an adjoining rock which I like to call the throw pillow. Each week during the festival, this is the place where the entire pillow community gathers to participate in an official welcome and prepares for the week ahead. Very much like the entire institution, this particular place represents a coming together of past, present, and future.